Happy Wednesday. Welcome to the best day of the week. As you know, Wednesday is the best day of the week because on Wednesday, we hear some wisdom from the Word of God brought to us from the book of Proverbs. Proverbs are brief, providing us opportunity to hold on to them for a while, keep them with us and think about them, pray about them, look back on life where we've been, and also get some guidance for where we go in the future as we ask our good and gracious Lord who offers us forgiveness free of charge in Christ Jesus, as we then ask, how now shall we live? And God shows us a way that both brings glory to him and also uses us as a witness in this world by being good neighbors to those he places around us. Our proverb for today, you know what? It's a reminder that there is no sure sign of a fool than knowing someone who thinks they're always the wisest person in the room. Here is Proverbs 14, verse 9. Fools mock at the guilt offering, but the upright enjoy acceptance. Fools mock at the guilt offering, but the upright enjoy acceptance. All right. In order to understand this proverb, I spent a couple minutes attempting to remind myself what the guilt offerings were. I was guided to the book of Leviticus, chapters 5 and 6, and I found something very interesting about guilt offerings. There is a guilt offering for accidental mistakes or something you didn't even know you did wrong at the time. There is also guilt offering for the intentional defrauding of others. And I'm using defrauding pretty loosely there any kind of damage done against your neighbor. So based on what I found the guilt offerings to be, I guess I determined a handful of ways that a fool would mock a guilt offering. Likely it'd be something like this. One, a fool could mock the guilt offering by thinking that their ignorance makes everything okay. Remember, there was a guilt offering for something that was unintentional or that you didn't even know accidentally had your neighbor's property in your possession. Maybe someone thinks that because they didn't know that what they did was wrong, that no one should hold them accountable or responsible. Fool could also mock the guilt offering by thinking that their sin against their neighbor is simply no big deal. Also occurs to me that a fool could think a guilt offering is worthless because They might just think that people believing that bringing an offering to the temple and that things becoming better is silly. In contrast to that, you remember in the proverb that the upright enjoys acceptance. But I want you to notice inside this brief word of wisdom that it doesn't say that the upright doesn't make mistakes or doesn't need to offer a guilt offering. It says they enjoy acceptance, which would here mean that the upright or the wise is someone who is willing to admit mistakes and take responsibility for their mistakes. And taking care of their mistakes, responsibility, apologizing, making an offering. You see, when they take care of it according to God's word, it brings them back into community. That's the upright, enjoying acceptance. You see, the fool mocks the process. They think their behavior is justified. They shouldn't bear responsibility either before God or before the neighbor they hurt. And it's important for us to realize that the upright, the wise, Even being those, it does not mean that we'll avoid mistakes completely in this life. That's not realistic. It's not going to happen. We should try. We should work. We should aim to be as righteous and wise in life as possible. But a proverb like this reminds us that when we do mess up, that godly wisdom would guide us to take responsibility and value our return to right relationships. Both with other people, and also with God. And we should value those things above personal pride. Fools, they mock at the guilt offering. 
but the upright enjoy acceptance. You see, the fool allows their pride or their lack of responsibility to be what they prioritize. The wise prioritizes connection, both in relationship to God and relationship to others. Let's close in prayer. Lord, help me to be wise, not according to this world's standards, but according to yours. Help me to choose daily the way of wisdom and the way of Jesus. Amen. As always, appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your day to be a part of this with me. And also, go Lions.